Okay, so Borbala graduated from nuclear energy, energy engineering at Budapest University of Technology and Economics in Hungary and was working for the university's fusion, fusion research team for more than three years, where she worked with beam emission spectroscopy measurements and was involved in international projects like Eurofusion. The topic of her bachelor thesis was the pre preliminary design of one of Demos tritium breeding blankets, and she is currently working as an engineer dealing with plant-related projects and big physics research. So without further ado, we can see that Borbala is a great expert in the field, so she will present the second topic, nuclear fusion fundamentals. So go ahead, Borbala. Okay, thank you very much for the, the introduction. Um, and good evening to everyone. Um, I'm also from the uh, Hungarian Young Generation Network. I just for, forgot to mention it. Um, and I'm going to uh, speak about the fundamentals of nuclear fusion. Um, yeah, and uh, here um, re referring to one of uh, Professor Feynman's famous quotes, I won't go into details of quantum mechanics, but uh, I will only touch on, on the most important principles. Uh, since he also said, if you can't explain something in simple terms, uh, you don't understand it. So this will be my challenge for today. Um, and as the organizer, uh, organizers dreamed it, I will use Sheldon to show you when we are simplifying the concepts. Um, the aim of this presentation is to connect the point uh, where uh, Qued, uh, Kevin left off um, to the technological solutions you will hear about uh, in the next days. So I put here the figure of the binding energies to emphasize <laughs> why we, we would like to achieve fusion. Um, so let's fuse together the two nu nuclei, uh, deuterium and, and tritium. Um, the phenomenon of uh, the mass defect, uh, Kevin also mentioned, uh, occurs. Um, and uh, as a result, the uh, energy is um, released. More exactly, we get a neutron racing with a 14.1 uh, mega electron volt kinetic energy. Um, okay, now we got a remarkable amount of energy from uh, one reaction, but uh, we should not forget that the goal is to produce electricity. So how do we get uh, power from energy per reaction? Um, we have to multiply this number by the frequency of the uh, re reactions, which is called the uh, reaction rate. Um, now we um, need to get uh, the nuclei to react with each other. Um, at first, to make it simple, let's consider a system of deuterium nuclei accelerate, accelerated uh, towards uh, an area with the nuclei of tritium. Here, um, rho is the density of the tritium nuclei. Um, but because of the non-homogeneous distribution of tritium, we need to quantify the probability of the reaction. Um, in other terms, a cross section is an, an effective collision area um, that's wider than the particle itself. Uh, so the three seam target is represented with its particle density and cross section. Now, what about the system of deuterium um, projectiles? Um, their most important properties are their velocity and uh, the particle density as well. Now, if we multiply these parts, we get uh, the interaction rate in general uh, for a system of projectile nu uh, nuclei accelerated towards a system of target nuclei. But let's not forget that this is again a simplification. Um, the system that we have presented, um, or I presented, um, has two major problems. The first problem is that uh, nuclear fusion is only one uh, reaction, which uh, have to compete with many others. Uh, if we look at the cross sections for fusion and sc scattering, uh, the probability of scattering is way bigger. So 
the simplest system that we have proposed will not be able to produce fusion reactions, okay, in a massive way, uh, but it won't be able to produce electricity. Um, and second, uh, we studied the interaction as if uh, it were uh, the collision of just uh, neutral marbles, uh, but in reality, the nuclei are charged. And Kevin already showed us the numbers about the, the scales and uh, the, the, the energy uh, we need to, uh, yeah, the, the energy of uh, Coulomb, uh, to, to overcome uh, the Coulomb repulsion. Um, so what does this mean regarding the temperature needed in the system? Um, temperature is proportional to energy. If we calculate uh, it's, uh, this uh, 218 kilowatt uh, means that uh, we get a, a number that is 215 times higher than the temperature of the sun. Um, and we, when we start to heat up um, the, the matter, then um, the bonds um, weaken and then the, for example, metal uh, melts and it, it uh, turns to a, a liquid state. And if you increase the temperature, um, the bones uh, are, uh, get completely broken and uh, it gets to a uh, gaseous state. And uh, if we increase the temperature even more, um, the bones um, um, at the outer um, bones uh, end up breaking. Um, so we get free electrons and ions. And uh, this state uh, is called plasma. This is uh, what we need if we would like to uh, achieve fusion. Um, a, an, in an ideal, uh, ideal plasma, uh, long range interactions dominate and not Coulomb interactions. Um, the, the ideal plasma um, is quasi neutral. This means that uh, the particles are uh, shielded against the uh, constant electric fields. And uh, as we know, the gases uh, ex expand um, and the plasma must be confined somehow. Um, we have charged particles. This will be um, useful for confinement. And uh, its uh, conductivity is uh, 30 times higher than that of the copper. Uh, this is a fun fact, but this is also a good property for, for confinement, for example, and heating. Um, and here are the two um, technological solutions proposed. The first one, um, uh, is that that the, because of the particles are charged, they can be directed by magnetic field, and in this case, um, um, the stable holding of the uh, hot plasma uh, for as long as possible uh, is the concept. While in case of the inertial fusion on the right. Uh, an attempt is made to achieve ignition by momentary compression of a, a fuel caps capsule with, with enormous energy. Uh, the latter uh, principle is uh, can remind us uh, of the operation of a hydrogen bomb. Um, of course, in research, uh, very small amounts are detonated. Um, using la uh, laser or ion beams and not, um, for example, fission. Yes, and um, 
So you have to uh, heat up the particles to get into plasma state. The plasma in the core is so hot that uh, it, it radiates uh, in X-ray range. So we cannot see it. Uh, it's only the coldest part at the edges of the vacuum chamber that radiates in the visible range. Um, yes. So how uh, hot we have to uh, heat up the plasma. Uh, we have two criteria. Uh, the one is for uh, power. Um, the to to the um, fusion reactors uh, have to occur in a, a self-sustained manner, and uh, the second is uh, connected to energy, and uh, how much it it gives how much uh, energy uh, have to be in, invested in heating, uh, or how how much of energy. Uh, is recovered that is in invested. So the first one, uh, I, I won't uh, tell you the, the Lausanne criteria. It's a bit more complicated, um, but the, the ignition uh, criteria um, uh, can be seen uh, in this figure. Egish is uh, the burn burning point of plasma. I just uh, didn't translate it from Hungarian. Yeah, and uh, ignition uh, is the point that we have to reach. Um, and uh, here are the, the numbers. Uh, if this is why we, we use uh, deuterium tritium uh, reactions, uh, it has. Um, the mm, highest probability uh, at uh, real, uh, realistically achievable te temperatures. And uh, this um, um, criteria is fulfilled at um, 4.8 kiloacrum volts compared to deuterium deuterium uh, that is uh, 27 kiloacrum volts. And um, these numbers, yeah, is um, deuterium tritium is only 3.5 times the temperature of the sun. Um, that, is, that is uh, more uh, achievable. But um, tritium is a rare uh, material in um, at the, the planet. And also, it's a, a radioactive one, and um, this is why um, we need a closed cycle where we uh, produce this uh, tritium, uh, and then we we can mm, put it back into the plasma, and uh, it's uh, made of lithium. And uh, we capture the, the neutrons that uh, we get from, from the fusion reactions. And um, then the, the, mm, the reactions can be um, self-sustained um, if we are uh, above uh, ignition. So what do we have to remember uh, for, from the, for the following presentations? The first one is that uh, deuterium tritium reaction is the most fav favorable um, and that you have to bring matter to a plasma state um, to achieve fusion and that plasma must be confined. There are uh, several ways uh, how it can be confined. And um, we will hear a lot, a lot of interesting things about this <laughs> in the, the next days. And thank you very much for, the, for your attention. Yeah, OK. And uh, these were only simplifications. I forgot to mention again. Thank you.